Hey guys, Hifto here, and today I'm back for an all new video. And in today's video, we'll be counting down 10 things you didn't know about Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Number 1, and the game was made using the Unreal Engine 4, the same software that was used to render K2SO in the Rogue One Star Wars movie. Number 2, and the map size is approximately 8km squared, or 5 square miles. Number 3, and before making Unknown Battlegrounds, the lead designer, Brendan Green, was best known making the popular DayZ Battle Royale mod. It was this mod that actually inspired Green to make Unknown Battlegrounds. Number 4, and when the game's production started in early 2016, the design team consisted of just 35 people, many of which were volunteers, working unpaid simply for the enjoyment of contributing towards the game. Number 5, and despite having only recently been released, the game is an official eSport, with the first competition taking place in August, with a £350,000 prize pool up for grabs. Number 6, and the current player count on Steam has actually surpassed several of PC's most popular games, including Fallout 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, and even Dota 2. The game even surpassed Dota 2's all-time record of 1.29 million concurrent players, set back in May 2016. On to number 7, and as early as April 2017, the game became one of the highest monthly earners in the industry, earning more revenue than Overwatch and CSGO over the same period. Number 8, while the game originally received positive reviews, recent controversies have seen the game come under heavy fire from reviews on Steam. During the first 4 days of October alone, 30,000 negative reviews flooded the Steam store, mostly in response to the game's in-game ads stream sniping bans and performance issues. Number 9, and Brendan Green is already planning to implement custom games and modding to the game, in hopes that somebody else may follow in his footsteps, in making an all new game inspired by unknown battleground mods, just as he did before. And finally number 10, and speaking of upcoming features, there are plans to add a cooperative campaign as well, however the campaign would not expand the game's lore. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, if you found out something you didn't know before watching, Please share this video with a friend who may also enjoy it.